to Hill Murray. We're so happy that you chose to be part of this community. This presentation is going to walk you through the registration process. All of the counselor contact information is going to be at the end of this presentation. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Here is the high school licensed counselors. Mr. Grau, working with students with last name A through HD. Mr. Sicalello, working with students last name HE through MN. Mrs. Hurley, working with students with the last name MO through SP and Mr. Goulet working with students with the last name SQ through Z. Please reach out to those if you have any questions. I want to first off show you what a typical ninth grade schedule is going to look like. As you can see, a lot of the classes are already chosen for you, but there are four sections where you can choose those elective courses. I also want to note that there is the service credit, which is a full year. What that means is you need to have two service experiences to meet that service credit. So that means you need one service experience that's working with the poor and vulnerable and one just other service experience. Now we're going to be working towards a maximum of 14 credits but you can have a minimum of 12. What that means is if you decide to take a study hall, which you certainly can, those are not credit bearing classes. So if you decide to take all credit bearing classes you would have a total of 14 but again you can only have a minimum of 12 and I'll count through these classes as we move through the registration process here. I want to talk a little bit about the schedule quick before we move on. Here's this a typical school schedule seven period day start at 755 dismissed at 229 students will eat lunch during their fifth hour period which is divided into three different sections A B and C in a typical week, you'll have two days which are a block schedule, and those provide time for community and advisory time, which we, as the guidance team, send out lessons. Otherwise, there's other pieces that are for enrichment, support, social emotional learning, mindfulness activities, registration, such as this. There's also the win time, which is what I need, and that occurs on the block schedules as well. And I'll show you an example of these schedules as we move through. Here's an example of the block schedule. The students will have three 45 minute classes each week with, and then one 70 minute class. Again, this allows for that advisory where we provide some lessons with career exploration, post-secondary education, um, and, then it has, and then it has the win time in there, which again is set aside for the academic support. So here is um, the green days, which are Monday, Thursday, Friday. Black days, which is on Tuesday. So you can see that block schedule with the wind time in there. And then white days, which are our Wednesdays. Okay. So we are going to be moving into the registration process. So at the very top, make sure that your student's name is on that form so we can identify it. If you want to, you can email these forms back to Jen O'Gary. Her email is there. Otherwise, you can mail them back to us, and we ask that you mail them back by March 5th. As you move through, I will count, help you count up the total number of credits. We're going to be starting with um, English. And so you can see it's already marked for you. You're, you're put into the regular English class. If you want to be placed in honors, there is a placement exam that you need to take. And admissions will send out some information regarding those placement exams. I do want to note that if you see a class where it says A slash B, that means that that class is offered the full year. And so when we're counting up, you'll see that there's a one and a two. That means because you're taking that class first semester and second semester. So again, like I mentioned before, the Honors English track, um, there is a placement exam that you'll need to take and admissions will send information about that. I do want you to be aware that there is a summer reading component that if you do go into the Honors track needs to be completed before the first day of school. Then health should be on your form checked already. That's going to be credit number three. Then math should be on your form, and that's going to be credit number four and five. 
because of the pandemic, we are requiring each incoming freshman to take the math placement exam. We just want to make sure that you're placed in the appropriate level. There is also a recommendation form from your current math teacher that is required also that you'll need to send in. Here's just a screenshot, which is also in the course directory online, of the different math levels as you progress through the next four years here at Hill Murray. And if you have any questions about that, certainly feel free to reach out to us. Again, admissions is going to send out that placement exam. It is required, so make sure when you get that information, you set that time aside so that you can take that placement exam so that we can get that appropriate math level into your schedule. As we move forward, you can see that physical education is checked on your schedule. That's going to be credit number six. Then we have theology, which again is A, B, a full year. That's going to be credit number seven and eight. Physical science, that's already checked. That's going to be credit nine and ten. And then you'll see that there's a service credit on there. That does not count towards your 14. That's just always automatically put on there. So that leaves us at 10 credits, which gives you a total of four more elective credits to choose from. And I'll walk through those pieces next. So here are some of the credits for electives that you can take as a ninth grader. Again, if you see just the single class, that means it's only offered one semester. And if you see the A and the B, that means it's offered both semesters. You can also see that there's some lines here on band. That's asking which instrument you play. So if you sign up for any of these band classes, please make sure you write in the instrument that you play as well. And here's just the rest of the electives that you can take. I want to focus on world language for a second. Again, there's the A and the B, so they are offered a full year. If you are wanting higher than French 1 or Spanish 1, there is a placement exam that you can take. This is the information that you'll need for that. French 2 or higher, you'll want to contact Elizabeth Marin. Spanish 2 Admissions is going to send out that information for the placement exam to place into Spanish 2. Spanish 3 or higher, you'll want to contact Senor Corrales with those registration questions. And again, if you contact either of those, please make sure in the email heading you put registration questions. That should bring you to the 14 credits. Again, if, you took, if you're taking a study hall, you may have a different number than 14, but if you're taking all credit-bearing classes, you'll have 14 credits. The bottom of your registration form, you'll see this. We require that you put in alternate electives. This is because not all the time it works out perfectly that you get every elective class that you want. So we want to make sure that you have the options in there. So as we're working on schedules this summer, we don't have to contact you. We can just look at your form and see which alternate classes you wanted. And again, just filling out your information. Here's the contact, contact information for the departments as far as the English, Math, World Language, and the Nicholas Center if you have specific questions pertaining to those. And then here's our contact information in the Guidance and Counseling Office. Please, please do not hesitate to reach out if you have questions as you're going through this. We're more than happy to answer those questions. I want to thank you again. Welcome to Hill Murray. And if you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, we will see you in the fall.